What's up, YouTube? So you remember that video I made a couple years ago about my second date with Ashley? What I didn't tell you in that video was on that very date, on that very roof, we had our first kiss. All together on three, one, two, three, aww. Fast forward to the present day, Ash and I are walking out of spinning class. I hand her this brown paper envelope and I'm like, here's a little gift for you, open it when you get home. But here's how well I know Ashley. She immediately goes to her car and opens the envelope. But what does she find inside? Another envelope on which is written, are you really at home yet? So when she finally gets home, she opens a second envelope in which contains this book. Now you might be thinking, Josh, isn't that the same as the book that you have coming out in December? Oh no, the one I gave Ashley says we did hang out sometime. Now we should hang out sometime is the story of all my dating disasters growing up. And spoiler alert, it ends with a four page afterward about meeting Ashley. We did hang out sometime is a book I printed only one of and the entire book is the story of Ashley and my relationship. Now, Ashley didn't realize that the book was leading up to me proposing to her that night, so she FaceTimed me about halfway through reading the book. Now, meanwhile, I'm getting ready for the second part of the proposal. I'm wearing like a suit and a tie and it's 9 p.m. at night, and so I had to ignore her FaceTime Yikes. And the reason I thought the book would be obviously leading up to a proposal is because of this. In We Should Hang Out Sometime, each section is divided by a different girl and the sections are titled with the name of that girl. So the final section of the book is titled Ashley Samsonite. But in the book I give Ashley called We Did Hang Out Sometime, it is subtitled Ashley Sunquist. So I thought that would be a pretty obvious hint that I was about to propose, but I guess she just thought it was like a typo. So she didn't actually realize that this was me proposing until she got to the final chapter of the book, which is called the next chapter. See what I did there? I'll read you some selections from this chapter. Ashley sits in her apartment reading this very book, curled up on her bed, her cat Scar sitting nearby occasionally purring. She was sitting in her bed with her cat Scar reading. Now she doesn't realize I was about to propose, so she actually took all of these selfies of her reading the book. After she finishes the last page, she sets the book down and puts on normal clothes because she had changed into her PJs for reading. She always does that and goes out to her car. In the left front tire, she finds a CD to listen to on her drive. It was a CD of our song for her to listen to. And she drives to the place where she and I had our first kiss. She takes the elevator up to the roof and finds me awkwardly attempting to balance in a kneeling position on one leg, something that is almost impossible to do. Really, you can try it for yourself. It's almost impossible. I'm surrounded by candles, which Ashley likes because she's such a big fan of candles. I say some nice things and present her with a special box and the next chapter of our lives begins together. So that's what I had planned. Here's what actually happened. While Ashley and I had been in spinning class, my assistant Lisa had taped that CD to the wheel well of her front tire. Unfortunately, she did such a great job duct taping it that Ashley was unable to get the CD out, so she didn't have a CD to listen to on the way over. Meanwhile, as Ashley's reading the book at home, Lisa and I are on the roof of my building lighting this long string of candles. The problem is it is a very windy and somewhat rainy night, and so we have to keep running along with lighters like light this candle, light this candle, light this candle, but as fast as we can possibly do that, the wind is like poof, 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 poof. and so I'm like light, 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 poof, poof, poof. and I'm just like running up and down, getting sweaty. By the time I see Ashley like walking out on the roof, I'm like throw the lighter down, I'm like what? Yep, yep, it's okay. My hair is good now, ready to go. But even though some of the candles were out, the roof still looked pretty cool. Here's what my roof looks like normally, and here's what the roof looked like that night with hanging candles and candles on the ground running along either side of a long red carpet. Now the first thing I noticed about Ashley was that she had not followed my instructions in the book. She was still wearing her sweaty workout clothes from spin class, which she said she did because she was just too excited after reading the book and just had to come over as soon as possible. But it makes it look kind of funny if you look at the pictures that we took that night because I'm wearing like a suit and she's wearing like yoga clothes. Ashley and I talked for quite a while on the roof and she was uh, shall we say, crying a lot. Tears of joy, I'm very pleased to report. 
Um, but, but she was really overcome with emotion. And Lisa, my assistant who had helped me set everything up, was hiding in a stairwell near the roof. And while she was there, multiple people from the building came up the stairwell because they had heard someone crying and thought that there was either a domestic disturbance or someone was considering taking his or her own life. Fortunately, Lisa was there to say, no, don't worry. It's just someone really excited about getting engaged. Now, fortunately, I lowered expectations strategically in the book about how I was gonna be able to balance on one knee because it's very difficult. In the end, what happened was I balanced on one knee with the assistance of holding Ashley's hand, which I think you could say is a metaphor for our relationship. Here are some photos of the ring I gave her. She said, yes, I'm pleased to report. And the ring was inside of a custom jewelry box that I had engraved with these words, we should hang out forever. A-M-P-U-T-E-E -E.